Try it. Hello everybody, Savat the Mighty here, and we are back in Dauntless. So, if you noticed, I got all of the piggy gear. So I went ahead and uh, fought the pig a couple more times, and uh, I got the hammer up and running. I got the uh, pig's armor, and we're ready to go on to the next event. What's that going to be? This monster of rock. <laughs> Hunt a Scarn. I don't know what a Scarn is. I do know... I have figured out somewhat what this uh, hammer does. The hammer has the reload mechanism that we figured out last time. <clears throat> and if you use the hammer in the right way, <clears throat> you can unleash a combo with a... A devastating explosion at the end. This seems to cause quite a bit of damage. I, I, I like it. The reload mechanic's pretty cool. The hammer itself is uh, very slow to attack and it's actually pretty difficult to get off the uh, the explosion at the end. Oh, it definitely takes some getting used to, but I, I can definitely say I do enjoy the hammer. It's it's pretty good. Now, is it going to be my favorite weapon? Hmm, don't know. I've still got unlockables. Okay, so we started off in the swampy area. We've got some jump pads. Let's go searching for whatever this monster is. Apparently, it, uh,. According to the fluff, it throws rocks. So we're looking for a beast that launches rocks. What type of beast do we think it's going to look like? I'm thinking... Beasts that throw rocks might be like a minotaur or a rhino. Maybe a monkey? Do you see anything? I do. Oh, well. Maybe I'm not right at all. Maybe it's just a big friggin' rock. That's kind of scary. What? It doesn't throw rocks. It is left. Oh, oh my goodness. Ow, 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 ow. How does one not get caught in that? Oh my goodness. Okay. This is drastically different than I thought it would be. Alright, so if you notice, I press Q. And it reloads. Q again. Q again. So he's like a lizard? So he's really cool. Load. We're doing good. Now, with 
this particular build, I'm not using the, uh, the, uh, the owl armor, so I do run out of stamina. He's super enraged. Go ahead and drink. Oh my goodness. Okay. This guy, I can't honestly tell what's broken on him. Whew. He did run away though. So we beat him in a phase, that's pretty good. Are you going to take both? Yeah, you took both. Thanks. Okay, can, can you stop spinning? This guy is uh, putting the hurt on us. Thank you! Never had a monster down me before. on that buddy.
My reload failed. Yay! Oh, so we got A rank. It's pretty good. Did quite a bit of damage to him. Whew, that was a tough fight. Oh man. I, what I know, is I do like fighting him. I have no clue what you're supposed to do when he does the whirlwind sucky thingy. Obviously it's not supposed to roll. So, maybe you just have to sprint? I'm not sure. Not sure at all. One down is pretty bad, though. I feel bad about that. But I didn't know how to get out of it. Still don't. And so that's probably going to take some getting used to. Um, but as you can see with the hammer, it's you do a combo and then you unleash the explosions at the end, and it's it's really fun. I like it a lot. Um. Following my question mark, I'm following my question mark. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work out how to actually attack these guys and talk at the same time. Cause still learning everything, it's very uncomfortable to do so. Success. Very interesting finding, Slayer. What's most disturbing is that the pheromone phenomena, not pheromone, is happening at all. The Ram Island Formation has been stable since Arlick Mass discovered it and founded Ramsgate. It's my hypothesis that the same forces that triggered the Aether Storm you encountered, and has brought many strange and useful, unusual behemoths to the region, are coming from the Maelstrom that ended that endless that endless storm beyond the uncharted reaches. Together the storms and the behemoths are destabilizing, well, everything. I don't think that this is over. We must venture to the Maelstrom and get to the bottom of this mystery, once we have stabilized the ram itself. See you later, perhaps. You, you will see me later, I assume. Okie dokie. Uh, so we managed to beat a new monster. It down us. Not not so thrilled about that. Well, we've got another quest going on, Have but you a few minutes. What? We've got multiple quests. Hmm. Where are you? Aether is greeting, Aether. Slayer. Slayer shriek. Uh, so the Aether Mask can create a new lantern design. Slayer, welcome. I believe we have you to thank for the rescue of my cartographer friend Gaius. To show my gratitude, I'd like to offer con construct a lantern for you using the Aether of a Mighty Shriek. Yes, I think you deserve mar a far more effective lantern than that. Somewhat quaint training model. I merely need a few data points to complete my design, so slay a Shriek and then bring me but a small amount of the Aether your ship gathers from its disintegration. Instant abilities charge over time. Activate them by tapping the lantern activation button, V. Hold abilities charge when dealing damage to a behemoth. Using Aether Vent or collecting Aether Wisps. Activate them by holding the V button. Instant and hold abilities can be cast at any time once they are charged, even while performing other actions. Now prove yourself capable. The Skarn has a fearsome reputation. It is said few slayers have broken through its mighty defenses, and fewer still have learned how to avoid its bone-breaking attacks. Slay a Skarn and share with me a fraction of its res re resid residual aether, and I, th and I think what I can create may surprise you. Back to my work. 
Okay. So I've killed the one thing, so... T t t okay, I gotta kill another one. That's what I thought. Excellent. So let's have a look here. Scarn. Increases max health. Increases max health. Prevents you from being staggered. Why would you need two? <coughs> Does having more than one lower the cooldown or something? I don't know. You're a sight for sore Austrian eyes. Hmm. So, the quo shot's good because it gives part damage. The scarn gives stagger damage. So, we have one of each weapon now. Hmm. Fight well, my friend. I don't know what the next weapon we want to create is. We've got another quest over here, though, to take a look at. The key to the keys. Gather iron thistle so Boson can use it to improve the ship's borrow meter. The further we sail, Captain, the trickier it gets to navigate, and the atmospheric pressure systems. I'm no wayfarer. Well, old Horatio, the shipwright, always told me that adding iron thistle to an airship's barometer makes it a lot more responsive to aether disturbances. We'll need that to sail beyond the monstrous verge and into the yonder keys. Next time you're island side, could you gather up all you can find? Okay. I've ready the ship. Bosun Marcus Bohir. Bosun Marcus Bohir would like you to bring him a key ingredient for his new attack speed potion. Dash leave. See you soon, Skip. Okay. Oh. Are we off again? Guess between 10 and 30% increased attack speed based on health missing for 60 seconds. A bulwark tonic. Reduces damage taken by 45% for the next three hits. That seems useful. Aye, aye, Captain. Gear up. Got a job for you. Slay a Charog on the Burning Rose. Charog? We've got another island that's off its predicted trajectory. Way, way off. In fact, the cartographer tells me it could only have come from the higher elevations where Blaze Aether gets into everything. And wouldn't you know it, this particular arid island looks to be home to a Blaze Fiending Charog. That's got to be what's knocking that island off course and into the yonder keys. Keep those blades sharp. Okay. Quests. No? Wonder what old Arkin has to hmm. say about them. Journal. Hunt a Shriek, Hunt a Scarn, Hunt a Charog. Uh, so at level two, I get axes. And level four, we get war pikes. So 
So we need to hunt two behemoths with the chain blade. How are those weapons treating you? Wow. Okay. Gorman blades mean quality. So these blades can stagger. How goes the slaying? I've only got one. Don't get yourself killed. Hmm. How much time we got left? We got time for another fight? I need mm. Let's do the shriek. Shriek. All right. So we're going to take out these particular weapons. You, my friend, are in that rocky armor. So it looks like the way that this game plays out too is you kind of incentivize to use multiple weapons and not the same weapon all the time. That's pretty cool. I like that. The shriek was the owl? Yeah. Look at you. So, with this particular combination, I don't have a weapon that breaks parts anymore, but I still got part breaker abilities on my armor, and I have stun on my weapon. Hmm. I can see where mixing and matching may be a thing. Now, there's got to be a way to unlock a uh, later... I would assume there would be a way to unlock it and to increase your weapons upgrades further, because, I mean, there's no reason to use... A beaver weapon, which would be awesome for its abilities to hit them in their rage mode. I don't know. Maybe there's harder versions of them. Let's collect some sky bloom. All right, so what we know is we can press V to use our lantern. I have no clue what my lantern does. Looking around. Fine. 
I heard a flare. Oh man, that flare is kind of hard to see. Roar! Yeah. Oof. Okay. So one, two, three. Let me get out of here. more. I still am not a hundred percent what this does. I'm taking a lot of damage though. Ow. Ow! Shit! Okay. So, we do have some lag issues. Still up in the sky. That did nothing. Hello! How are you? Back up. Let's drink a potion. Okay. I dodged way too early on that one. Coming back. Hooray! Good job, guys. I got a B. B is not so great. <laughs> but I was evasive. I did do a pretty decent amount of damage. And I never got down. I'd rank that a 5. That was pretty enjoyable. When I can click my mouse. <laughs> so all in all good, we should be able to get a new lantern now, even though I have no clue what my lantern does. <laughs> I just figured out I could press V and use it. just figured it out. So what did my lantern do? It made squiggly lines come out. That was the visual effect. So now we're gonna go read. I believe I remember from like episode one or two when I was looking at it, I thought it had a I thought it was passive and I thought it increased your defense um all the time. Let's have a look at it again. Versus Aether that allows the hunter to track the behemoth. Got it. I mean, 
kind of wish I would have known that a little bit earlier, but that's my own fault. All right, buddy. I did it. Give me. Greetings. A masterful. Performance. Perfect. It's not really the amount of aether in this case, simply the specific profile that's important to the design, the desired effect into the device. With the right raw materials, I can now craft a new lantern for you. Watchers always watch. A watcher's duty is to knowledge. Well, that's expensive. Move 41 cent past her for six seconds. Always watch for squalls. Okay. So we got a new lantern. I'm very curious, honestly. What news from the front? We have Shriek. Max level reached. There's no way to make these stronger? I mean that does 176. Miss does 228. And this Garn does 168 out of the box. So I assume they're all gonna do 228. Keep your guard. Alright. Let's have a look here real quick. Uh, light as a stone, hunt a scarn. And that's going to give us another one and the fire in the sky. Welp. We did well. Um, oh yeah. I keep wanting to press L to do everything. Uh, journal. We did one behemoth with the chain blades. We need to do one more with the chain blades, and well, we already got the five staggers. That's pretty cool. Hunt ten behemoths with the sword. All right, so that's going to be our next one. So our next weapon, once we fight this guy, we're going to make that a sword. Okay. Well, I want to thank everyone for watching, and next time we come back, we'll have some more fun, and we'll do some more of these quests and see what we can do. Thank you. Have a great day.